This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What is up everyone? Greetings from Texas. I am in Dallas now, but there's a piece of gear that I kind of wanted to show you today that I got in recently to review. And it's something that I think is actually gonna come in really handy now that I live in Texas. There's obviously some very big differences between Portland and Dallas. And one of them is that Dallas gets a lot more sun than Portland does. So having a monitor that I could actually view in direct sunlight is gonna be huge here. And that brings me to the Andy Cine C5. Now, before we go any further, as always, Andy Sydney didn't pay me to review this monitor. These are gonna be my honest and unbiased opinions. So some quick highlights about this monitor. It's a 5.5 inch. It's got all of the assist features that you're gonna want. It's got peaking, it's got vector scopes, it's got crop bars, all that. But the biggest thing that sets this monitor apart from all the other monitors I've had in the past is that this is an ultra bright monitor. So you can actually see this in bright sunlight. It has a 3000 nit brightness. What's pretty nice is it comes in a nice little case like this, and it's got basically everything you need in the box. So this monitor is definitely pretty thick. Uh, it's not a super thin monitor, and it's got actual fans on the back because it does take a lot of power to get a screen this bright powered up. And it just runs off of one Sony MPF style battery, which is included. So it's still morning here in Dallas, but as you can see, if I turn it on, you'll still be able to see the monitor even in pretty bright daylight like we have right now. Now, the only one con that you will notice straight off the bat is that it is a little bit loud. Let me show you what the fans sound like. But again, it's doing that to keep this monitor cool because it does take a lot of power to get a monitor this bright. So I'm gonna show you how I set up this monitor on my EM1 Mark II rig. But before we do that, I do wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to present yourself online. As a filmmaker, having your own website is crucial. So if you're looking to build one right now, you can do it with Squarespace. You can start with one of their pre-existing templates or you can build one from scratch and make it totally personalized. I've been using Squarespace since 2015 and I love it because I'm not super savvy with creating websites, but Squarespace makes it so easy to have a professional looking presence online. I showcase my photography, films, and even sell digital products all on my Squarespace site. It's so easy to adjust things on the back end. You can change the style and look of your website with just a couple of clicks. And as a filmmaker, getting my videos embedded onto my website is super easy and straightforward. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Nigel Barros to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So I've always really liked rigs that can be broken down really quickly into a more small and compact setup. So the idea of being able to have like my mic and my monitor attached to one top handle was really appealing to me. So I got this small rig NATO top handle and I put a bolt through it and I have this little cold shoe on the side so that I can actually put my microphone right here on the side of the handle. So now I have a microphone right here on the side of my top handle. And what's really nice is that this small rig NATO top handle actually has airy locking pins right here. So, and connect it to the quarter 20 mount on the bottom to this nicey rig airy locking monitor mount so that I can put this monitor right on the front of this handle. So as you can see, now I have this entire setup built onto one top handle. So if I wanted to kind of break my camera down to just hit the camera, the lens, and the cage, I can just loosen the NATO rail clamp and just take it right off my camera cage and everything is connected to one top handle, which I really like. But the one thing that I noticed with this rig setup is that if you put the battery on here, especially a bigger battery, this is the one that Andy Cindy provides with you, which I actually really like because it has a little battery indicator on the back and and it can be charged via USB-C, which is really handy. But if you put this battery or a bigger battery right onto the monitor, it becomes a little bit front heavy. So a solution that I came up with, which I really like, is actually to grab something like this. This is a small rig NPF battery plate, and I just have it attached to a little cheap monitor mount, which has a cold shoe. And since the back of this small rig handle has a cold shoe mount, I can just 
slide it right there. And then all I have to do is just grab a power cable and doing it this way just creates a really nice and well-balanced rig. Now, another pretty cool feature about this monitor is that it can take 3D LUTs. So you can put monitoring LUTs on to this monitor and then you can kind of see what your log footage is gonna look like with a LUT on it. It's always a really good investment to pick up a monitor like this because if you can't actually see what you're filming, then there's gonna be a lot more mistakes that you're gonna have to try to fix in post, which sometimes you can't. That's where something like this is invaluable. And something that you'll notice with a lot of cinematographers is the one thing that stays with them throughout every rig and every camera that they have is their monitor. So I would definitely recommend looking into something like this. I think it's gonna retail for around 250 to 300 bucks, which I think is a great deal for a monitor with this much stuff packed into it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the Andy Cine C5. Big thanks to Andy Cine for sending this out to me for review. Anyways, if you'd like to check out some more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. Once again, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll catch y'all next time. Later.